Ashley Point, President of the Cool and DeFreeze Syndrome Foundation. The Cool and DeFreeze Syndrome Foundation's mission is to educate, increase awareness, and promote research for the support and enrichment of the lives of individuals living with Cool and DeFreeze Syndrome and their families. We are 100% volunteer run. Cool and DeFreeze Syndrome is a genetic syndrome of the 17th chromosome. It is caused by a microdeletion in 17Q21.31. It can also be caused by a mutation in the cancel one gene. The microdeletion and the cancel one mutation both cause the same problems, including health concerns and intellectual delays. Cool and DeFreeze syndrome is prevalent in one in 55,000 individuals. We are happy to have the founders of the syndrome on our medical advisory board, Drs. Coolen and DeFreeze. They are joined by Dr. Kazri, a neurobiologist, Dr. Mefford, a clinical geneticist, Dr. Myers, a neurologist, Dr. Morgan, a speech pathologist, Dr. Point, a urologist, and Dr. Zwiener, a pediatric gastroenterologist. Together, they all make excellent medical recommendations. In 2019, these brave, cool warriors and their parents helped contribute to research into KDVS. These amazing warriors allowed researchers to take skin samples, and those skin samples were then turned into cell lines. These cell lines are the future of Cool and DeFreeze syndrome. These cell lines were then turned into brain organoids. These are the organoids that Dr. Latour and Dr. Kazri and their team will be studying. These organoids will teach us things about Cool and DeFreeze syndrome. And the more we learn, the more treatments that we can create. Please watch this video further and you will learn more about Dr. Latour and Dr. Kazri's amazing technology. Hello, my name is Neil Nadif Kasri and I'm a group leader at the Radboud University Medical Center in Nijmegen, the Netherlands. My group is interested in understanding neurodevelopmental disorders and Colin de Vries syndrome is one of the disorders that we are working on. We use several techniques to do this. We work, for example, with mouse models, but also with stem cells. And today I would like to show you in the lab how we work with stem cells and especially how the students do that. And, but let me first start with introducing you to the stem cells. What are stem cells and how can we use them to understand colon de Vries syndrome? For our research, we want to study nerve cells. However, these nerve cells are not easily accessible since we cannot just make a brain sample from a patient. Therefore, in the lab, we make first stem cells starting from skin cells. Stem cells are the body's raw material cells from which all other cells with specialized function can be generated. Under the right conditions in the body or laboratory, stem cells divide to form more cells called daughter cells. Under the right conditions, these daughter cells can become specialized cells such as nerve cells, which we then grow with thousands of them in the laboratory. Now that we know what stem cells are, let's go and look in the lab. Follow me. Thanks with the help of the KDVS Foundation and the families, we have been able to collect several skin samples from the cool kids and their family members. We have now generated stem cells from these and subsequently nerve cells. In our laboratory, we are studying these nerve cells. We can, for example, grow these nerve cells in two dimension, but recently also in three dimension. These 3D structures we call organoids or so-called mini-brains. In 2021, the KDVS Foundation was able to grant $100,000 to Dr. DeFries. This is the first ever fellowship created by the Foundation. Dr. Brooke Latour will be the KDVS Fellow and she will be studying brain organoids, also known as brains and dishes. Hi, I'm Brooke Latour and I'm a postdoc and a KDVS Fellow in the lab of Neil Nadif Kasri and I work on elucidating mechanisms of brain development. I use the organoid model to learn more about brain development in individuals with KDVS, and today I would like to show you a bit of what I do in the lab. In the lab, we use cerebral organoids to assess causal factors of neurodevelopmental disorders and the specific time frame in which they occur. This model of brain development allows us to ascertain how these specific disruptions result in changes in brain structure and neural circuitry formation. 
To make organoids, we start with 9,000 stem cells grouped together in 3D. And over time, we observe these cells take on a neural identity. We can assess the functionality of these cells in a variety of ways, including plating the organoids on smart dishes. To study the electric activity of the nerve cells in the brain organoids, we grow the organoids on so-called smart dishes. We call them smart dishes because these dishes have electrodes embedded in the bottom. When coupled to a computer, these electrodes allow us to measure the electric activity generated by each nerve cell. So just by looking at the activity profile, this tells us when nerve cells communicate, with whom, how often and how loud. The dedicated Radboud UMC KDVS research team is made up of myself, Katrine Linda and Anouk Verboven. Our research is made possible by contributions to the KDVS Foundation. We can learn so much about KDVS brains through their research. We appreciate you spreading awareness of Cool and Defree Syndrome and supporting the coolest community in town. Please help us continue to fund this important research by donating to the Cool Campaign, our annual drive. 100% of the donations will go directly to research. And this year we are honored to have a match of up to $50,000 from Selena Stagner and Gary Nelson. Through these donations, we will find insights into KDVS and hopefully develop a treatment and possibly a cure.